Hi everyone, my name is Ankita and welcome to my channel. So we planned a one day trip impromptu to Himavad Gopal Swami Betta which is located at a distance of about 215 kilometers from Bangalore. I have divided this vlog into two parts. This vlog is the part 2 of the Himavad Gopal Swami Betta trip. I will add the link to the first vlog in the description. Gopal Swami Betta is often referred to as Dakshina Govardhan Giri. The beauty of this hill is that it is usually enveloped by clouds and mist and hence it has gotten the name Himavad Gopal Swami Betta. Himavad means covered in mist. The temple is at a height of 4770 feet from sea level. There is an old fort on the hill which is said to have been constructed during the 13th century. Inside this fort is the Gopal Swami temple which is dedicated to Lord Krishna. So the places that we covered are Himavad Gopal Swami hills, the Himavad Gopal Swami temple, the Bandipur forest, Mysore city and the Mysore palace. It was almost 4ish by the time we finished the darshan and were back to the base. From here we wanted to go to the Mysore palace. This was the route that we took. It was essentially the same route through which we had come here. The only difference was that for the Mysore palace we had to go inside the city. On the way we also spotted the Mysore airport. As we reached in the city it was heavily crowded. This was a beautiful temple that we spotted on the way, the SGS temple. Google Maps routed us to the east gate entrance whereas the entrance for the parking is from the south gate. Do take a note of that and reroute accordingly. There's a huge parking space available. Parking charge is rupees 50. The palace timings are from 10 am to 5.30 pm only. It was almost 5.45ish by the time we reached so we were quite disheartened but only to be you know happily welcomed by an illuminated Mysore palace. It was just a beauty to behold. The palace gets lit every Sunday and public holidays between 7 to 8 pm. There's no entrance fees for this. All other days except Sundays and government holidays, there's a sound and light show that happens which is of a duration of 45 minutes. I will just let you sink into this beauty. Those are the cops on the horses, isn't that fancy? Mysore Palace is the home of the Vadiyas who ruled Mysuru for more than 500 years. Mysuru is also known as the city of palaces. The Wadiyas were great patrons of the arts and the finest craftsmen in the state were employed to work on the palace. This was a period where a new era of prose literature as an independent literary medium was given birth to. This palace has been designed by English architect Henry Irwin. The Mysuru Palace dominates the skyline of Mysuru. It's a three-storied structure built between 1897 to 1912. This palace has beautifully designed square towers at the cardinal points covered with domes. 97,000 electric bulbs have been used to illuminate the entire palace. I just could not get enough of this beauty. That's me, super tired. There's a temple in the premise known as the Sri Shweta Varaha Swami Temple. There are facilities of pure drinking water and cloak room within the premise as well. Outside the palace, there is a full-fledged flea market that is running, selling variety of items ranging from jewelry, food items, art pieces, uh, antique, classic coins, many things like this. Finally, we were done with the visit and we were super tired so we decided to head back to Bangalore instead of exploring anything else in the city. These were beautiful buggies that were running around the city carrying people and showing them around the palace. Before leaving for Bangalore, we just took a ride across the city to see what are the shops, restaurants available, where we could dine in. 
It was pretty crowded and the traffic is little unmanageable for a small city like Mysore. Finally we hit the highway so this was a restaurant that we saw was pretty crowded and we thought that it would be a good place so we just stopped over here to have dinner the place was super crowded just to find a place to sit was a horrific task in itself we had to wait for about 20 minutes the food was good the puran poli was really nice the south indian thali my dad said was good the paneer tikka masala was on point the pulao was okayish in all the food was good and we had a nice dinner here post that uh, we hit the highways again it was raining a lot so it was just a scenic drive way back home it was almost 10:30ish or 11 by the time we reached home but in all a good trip agar aapko ye video acha laga then do like the video and subscribe to the channel khush rahein khushiyan baatein keep exploring and keep discovering